welcome folks to the VIP series where today we have a lot of stuff to look forward to. We've got the Prophet Summon Prizes, we have Beach Paradise, Heroic Miracles here, Ormus Workshop means we can get ourselves an upgraded Punisher of Immortal, and also there's some fantastic value packages that we can sink our teeth into. So I have no idea how long today's episode is going to be, <laughs> only YouTube will know when they see that little number telling them how long a video is, but my word I think we've got a lot to do today. So, we can kick things off with Prophet Orbs if you fancy, or we can go and do Heroic Miracle. I think Heroic Miracle would be the better start. Getting ourselves that Rogan will be nice, and actually just seeing what we can get from our Light and Dark pulls would also be a lot of fun. So let's go across to the heroes. Let's go and pull ourselves two Dark Heroes from these Elite 5-star Dark Shards. Let's see what we can get. Focus and a Daz Moog. Okay, another Focus copy. How many Focuses is that for this account now? Two? And we're going to get more from Prophet Orbs as well. Wild. Let's go with the light heroes now. If I can get a Russell, it's a high roll. Oh. Okay. Asmodel. That's pretty cool. I'm not going to complain about Asmodel, guys. That's pretty good. So, that's our first stuff done. Now we need to go worry about the rest of the stuff. I think I'm just going to blast out these five-star shards here. And let's see what we get. We have two Abyss heroes... Two Shadow Heroes, two Fortress, and three Forest. Wow, that was like super duper average. Really nicely split across them. So I need one more Fortress Hero, one more Shadow, one more Abyss, which I can do. So there's my Fortress. There's my Shadow. Sorry, that was my Abyss, sorry. And here's my Shadow. So there we go. So that should be everything. Let's claim it all. Ta-da. Should be getting a Rogan. Yep, there he is. Absolutely nailed it. So that was the quickest heroic miracle of my life. Now, folks, a lot of people are itching for me to do these cores of transcendence. So we are going to buy this package today because opening 20 cores is, well, a lot of fun. So let's do that, guys. Let me buy this package and let's open those cores. So there you go, the crystal package has been purchased. Now there's a lot we can talk about with this. First of all, those universal crystals will allow us to pick up a really, really nice artifact when there's one we want from the campaign loot drop event. That 10 star forest puppet is going to allow us to further imprint our drake. And also 5,000 gems are just yummy. And cause of transcendence, well... They get chat all riled up and excited, because that means we now have 20 cores to open up chat. So what do you think? Are we going to get ourselves a transcending sphere from 10 in fate? We're after Anoskes, we're after Russells, let's make it happen. So here we go, folks. The first 10. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Well, that was a very, very bad start. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. Nice. Okay, let's go with another 10. Imagine if I get three from this now. And it's the mega, mega comeback. Here we go. Denied. Absolutely denied. Wow. That's the first time that's happened to me. In months! Literally months! No way! Oh, wow. And this is why you don't do fate. Mega Wolf Rex, get out of town! Have you seen how much we've high rolled on this account? Whew. Okay, 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 right. Let's just, um, move on. Let's go imprint our Drake. Let's get him leveled up. So here we go. Void to Drake. Easily done. Nice. Then we're going to unlock more power for him. Okay, now we want to boost his attack. So let's take this all the way up if we can. Yes, we can. Now what's this last one? Attack and HP. Can we take this up as well? We can get it to 8. Okay, okay, okay. So if we go back and we go into the bag and we open this transcending sphere, get ourselves some stellar shards and that's going to take us up. And let's finish him off. So that should be... Whoop, wrong one. There we go. And then we'll finish off his HP, I think. To see how high we can get this. We'll just quick upgrade. We can get a level 11 out of that. Not too bad. So we got a Drake a lot stronger. A lot more powerful. Nice to see it. Okay. 
And we can go and upgrade this Punisher of Immortal as well. So if I go into the bag, we go get our little chest. Where is it? It's in here. Mysterious Artifact Selection Chest. We're going to grab a Punisher of Immortal. Beautiful. So now we can go to Ormus Workshop and upgrade this bad boy. So let's go with our Punisher. Our one that's six star is automatically put in. We'll put in this staff here. And I need to get some crystals. Bye bye, Black Sword. Disassemble. Good riddance. Let's get ourselves upgraded, Punisher. Here we go. Oh, finally. Look at this. There you go. Ta da! Glittery Punisher of a mortal. Man, Drake just keeps getting better and better. I want to see what a Void 2 Drake can do in the Seal Land. But I'm also curious if we can make our team a little bit more powerful. Can we upgrade Amon Ra? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven heroes we can use as food. Ooh, we can get Amon Ra to eight star. I'm going to do that. We have these dark puppets right here. Let's summon them. And using Dasmog as fodder, we can definitely begin to upgrade us. So here we go, guys. We're going to put Dasmog in as food to take her. To seven star. Easy peasy. Let's do the same again. Dasmog. With these two dark spirits right there. Confirm. Putting in one of these puppets. That's going to be eight star Amon Ra. Now can we get it to nine star? We have an Amon Ra copy. We have a six star dummy. Do we have two heroes that we use as food? Well, that is a very good question. We do actually. Because if I go to the seal land... And I go up here, I can pull myself a Dark Elite Hero Shard. And I'm going to open that shard, and I will get myself a Dark Hero. That's going to be pretty good, I hope. So let's find out. Or if it's trash, we can use it as food. Yeah! <laughs> Dasmoke! <laughs> Woohoo! Garbage! Yeah! Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and unlock this Amon Ra down here. Let's go ahead to Amon Ra. And let's upgrade her. So, we're going to put in this Amon Ra. We're going to put in the 6-star. Put in Dark Arthendol. Put in Dasmog. And just like that, we're going to get a 9-star Amon Ra. Beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I want to upgrade her. So, let's quick upgrade her to level 200. Nice. So, she is a lot more powerful. I want to give her a stone as well. Just something a little bit better than what she's got. Nothing like super powerful or super expensive. But I do want to push her up. Maybe we go with Celestial 4. Though that's expensive on the gold. So I don't want to do that. Hmm. Yeah, that's not a good idea. So let's just take her up to... Uh, well, something that gives her... Maybe a good amount of HP. This is HP, HP Precision. That's actually not bad. Let's just keep going. Speed HP? That's okay. Okay. HP, HP. Sweet. I'm going to hold on that. 22% extra HP is very, very nice. We're going to give her... Well, no. We don't want to give her that. A Nosuke can get that. Oh, actually, we're going to be doing Seal End, so it doesn't really matter. Mm, yeah, that's fine. So, actually, let's build Drake as aggressively as possible. We're going to go three and one split. Let's be smart about this. So, yeah. Nice. And then Amon Ra, you can have two and two split. Like this. And we'll give you something to keep you alive. Well, you can have Mirror Chain. Easy. Um, can we upgrade it? I don't know if we can. Yeah, we, we haven't got anything lying around. But she can have it. There you go. HP damage reduction. Good stuff. All right. Now the rest of you can all just take whatever we've got. So you can have that. You can have this. Uh, although you probably want two and two split in all fairness. Can't really give it to her. Never mind. Uh, you want two and two split for sure. There we go. And actually, because this one's three and one split... We'll give this one the energy artifact. Then you can have Mirror Chain. And you can have... Uh, two and two split as well. And we'll give you something that gives HP. Wing God Messenger. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six heroes. Let's go try Drake out in Seal Land. Here we go, guys. Surely this can do the trick. If this can't beat it, I don't know what will. But before we go in, we are going to upgrade our monster. Gonna get it a little bit stronger. Can't do too much, though. 
but I'll take whatever upgrades we can give, which is unfortunately none. What about guild tech? Anything we can do here? Am I going crazy? Is there a guild tech upgrade we can do? Well, guild settlements here, actually. So let's try and get this up. This is friendly. This is friendly. So let's get maybe uh Ranger. Let's get Ranger up. So we're going to pop in a Noske. Nice. Cool. So let's mosey on back. Guild tech. Yo. I'll upgrade my assassins. Uh, although I don't think it's... I don't think it's value if we do it. Actually, this just finishes it. So let's just get it finished. Now we unlock the later levels. So... What we can do now is we can choose to move on to Ranger... Or further assassin. I probably want to start upgrading Ranger in all honesty. I think that's going to be pretty important. So if we can, we're going to get Ranger to 10. And upgrade that. We've got Ranger attack now. Which I just want to take as far as we can. And we can get that to 20. That's nice. I'll leave it at 20. And we'll stop there. Cool. Alright, that's good. So, let's now go back. Let's go to Seal Land. Let's go try this out. So here we go. There's our team. We got our Ammon Raws. We got our upgraded Ammon Raw. We got Carrie and we got Drake, who is now Void 2. Let's see if he can do it. This is Seal Land 12. Can we beat it? Here we go. Come on, buddy. I'm rooting for you, Drake. Show him what you can do. All right, he's holding in. Come on, Drake. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Come on. 1v1. Yes! <laughs> he did it. He absolutely smashed it. Go on. Void to Drake. Seal and 13. Let's do this. Got to high roll those dodges, buddy. Come on. Alright, okay. So this massive damage we're getting now from Upgraded Punisher of Immortal. You also bear in mind he's now Void 2. We've got more imprints on him. He is just really powerful now compared to what he was last time when we sent him into the Void. So much more power. Ooh, getting stunned though. That's not fun. Come on, come on. Oh, yes. Come on, Drake. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep dodging, keep dodging, keep dodging. Alright, no, we need to high roll those dodges. I think he's got like a 70% dodge chance. If we get him to void 3. But he's only void 2, so I think it's 60% at the moment. Which is still very high. Very good petrifies on those opponents at the front. That was very nice. And the fact that we've killed so many of them already is very, very good. Sadly though, we have triggered Unbending Will. This is going to be a tough one, but no! That is another win for Drake. Amazing. Here we go, Seal and 14. Come on. <laughs> go, go, go. Oh, we didn't manage to petrify the front line, although we did heal back up with Amon Ra's bubbles, which is very nice. All right, come on, Drake. Stay alive. Keep dodging. He's holding on in there. Come on, buddy. That's it. This is the one. Yes. No, he didn't quite dodge. Although he should be able to do this as well. Oh, good petrifies on the front line. That was very nice. The thing is, we need to high roll crits as well with Drake. Which is hard to do. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. He took too many hits there. Come on, Drake. Oh, wow. Straight up killing one of those backliners. That was very good. We might even kill the boss. <laughs> Drake, what a high roll. Just deleting the boss there. Sure. Sure. Wow. That was CLN 14. Here we go. CLN 15. Let's do this, Drake. What a machine. Absolutely incredible hero. This is so good. Oh, 
Oh, that was a low roll. That was a low roll. Surely, though, he can beat CLN 15. Oh, yes, we petrified the frontliners. We've killed one of the guys on the back. Come on, Drake. That's it. Keep dodging. Keep dodging. Yes. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't let the side down. That's it. Keep it up. Keep it up. Take down that boss. Don't die. Oh, he had to get hit there, didn't he? Dang. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm so confident he can do this. All right, we've killed two of them. Nice. Oh, but then he took too many hits. All right, guys, I'm going to buy 10 more tries. I'm sure he can beat CLN 15. Come on, buddy. Come on. All right, good basic. Nice amount of damage there. Some decent CC early on. Good, the front liners are all locked down. Nice. Okay, here we go, Drake. Let's get some... Kills here. Your health's not looking good. We've already triggered unbending will at this point. Yeah. That wasn't looking promising. Come on, Drake. That was bad. That basic did nothing. Didn't crit. Yeah, we've done hardly any damage so far. Yeah, this is just rough. He's got an active skill, though. It might do something. Not enough. Yeah, this is not the run. Okay, good early basic attack. There's the active skill. Wow, that was really clean. Okay, but we took too many hits. He didn't dodge enough. Yeah, man, if he'd have dodged more, that would have been a really, really perfect run. Okay, good early basic attack. I like this. His active skill hitting really nicely. Come on, dude. You got this. You got this. Oh, come on. Is he about to kill the boss? Yes. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Yes. That's how you do it. Non-believers in chat. Get out of here. That is CLN 15 cleared. Wow. Hoo -hoo. Beautiful. Nicely done, Drake. I told you it was possible. All you folks that didn't believe me. Get absolutely schooled. Wow, that was good. Let's go try ourselves out in Tower of Oblivion now. Let's go put in the same team. So, we're going to take out the carry. We're going to probably put a Nosuke slot one at this point, I think. And uh, run the Rogans. And the Amon-Ra. Right, let's go. Let's see what his team actually does. Here we go. So we've lost the Rogans, which is fine. It happens. Let's see if we can take these guys down. Yeah, just about. Nicely done. Good job, Drake. Okay, let's smash through in real quick. See how far we can go. Until we get defeated now by... Ooh, Valentino. He does true damage. This is nasty. We've got a high roll against this one. Okay, yeah, we've lost the Nosuke. Drake getting stunned there. Yuck. This is a horrid wave. 5 4 3. Come on, we're going to keep trying. We should be able to eventually do it if we're lucky. Yeah, this is the run. This is the run. There we go. Nice. Clean. Good stuff. Next fight, what have we got? Scaries and King Bartons. Ugh. So the King Bartons managed to counterattack, killing most of our little ones, leaving us just with Drakey Boy. But we're fine. Cleaned it up. Nicely done. All right, let's skip through. Shouldn't be too hard now. Until we get defeated by... Oh, Sleepless and Amavor? That's another yucky wave. Not a fan. Woohoo! Anosuke getting that active off. Really clutching there. Nice. Might be worth putting the Rogans at the front to soften stuff up. 
And let's just see what that does, right? Just so that they tank the, a few hits. Might be worth doing that as a strategy. Because then they can just eat damage with their bubbles that they get from Amon-Ra. Uh, but we do have to face Asmodels. That's not fun. Although Drake dodging them is pretty good. Nice. Good job, buddy. Doing an excellent job here. Clean. Just Drake versus Michelle. Easy win. All right, let's keep on going then. Oh, actually, never mind. This is Dark Arthur Nolan Sleepless. I want to watch this one out. This could be bad. But not if everything's focusing on the early Rogans, which is good. Switching them to slots 1, 2, and 3 has really made a good difference. Yep, nice. Super clean. Okay, let's skip through these fights then. See how far we can go. All right, this time we were defeated by... Oh, another Valentino wave. Come on, Valentino, why? This one has Demon Hunter in it as well. Not fun. Demon Hunter gets buffed when heroes die, which is bad. Oh, Vessa nuking us. Yucky. Drake getting wrecked there by the Overload. Whoo! Okay, okay, sure. Let's try again. Oh, dropping the Vessa. Good. Excellent job. With Vessa gone, this wave is completely different now. Much easier. Yep, yeah, nice. Alrighty, let's carry on then. Ooh, this time I was beaten by... Okay, okay, Cruz, Cruz, fine, sure. Stunning my team, probably. No in my luck. Managed to petrify him, that's cool. I don't see how this wave was a problem. It might just be the Margaret and the damage over time. Yep, it's damage over time. So what we need to do is put the dot protection on him. But then we've also got Walter. Oh, this is a really nasty wave. Old Purify would have been able to deal with this. New Purify is going to struggle. So here we go. Same fight. Let's see if damage over time can protect us. Yep, got beaten again. Come on, Drake. You got this, buddy. That's the thing. If we put damage over time on him, he's now getting wrecked by CC, which means Walter and Jara have an absolute field day against him, as does Cruz if Cruz stuns us. So this is such a hard wave to deal with. Yikes. Ooh, Drake dropping Margaret and Cruz. Nice. Don't know if he's going to be able to do this. Yep, defeated. There's just too much damage coming his way. That wave is going to keep us stumped. Are we on the leaderboard yet? Am I here? Am I here? Come on, tell me I'm here. Tell me I'm here. No, I'm not quite there yet. I need to get to wave 5, 6, 7, which is this Mim wave. <laughs> ah. Okay, fair enough. The first Mim wave explains why a lot of people are stuck there. All right, folks, we're going to save our profit orbs for next week. So if you want to see how we managed to do in our profit orb opening, join us next time. But we are going to end today by sending Drake into the Aspen dungeon. So let's make sure he is as powerful as we can make him before we send him in. I think we're going to go with crit HP. The higher his crit chance, the better. And I'm going to build him with three and one split. So we're just going to yoink our six star gear here. And we're going to go with the three and one to give him as much damage as possible. Along with the new upgraded Punisher of Immortal, we should be doing fine. We're going to give him the removal of uh, CC for his Purify, which is going to be very helpful. Aggressive right down the middle. Hopefully, that's going to do the trick. Now, we also need to build ourselves an Anosuke as a backup. We'll probably just build him like so. There's Kiss of Ghost. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Uh, is giving him this Assassin piece going to give him more damage? Uh, it does actually. That gives him way more attack. Okay, sure. We'll put him like that then. Cool. 
So folks, I think that's going to be our lineup. Doesn't really matter what everybody else has, because Anosuke and Drake are the only two heroes capable of doing anything here. So let's go. Aspen dungeon time. Actually. Ooh. No, never mind. Never mind. So we're going to put Drake, Anosuke, and Amon Ra in. Everybody else doesn't really matter, so we'll just pop down two more Amon Ra's. We'll save, and let's see how we do. We've smashed all the way up now to Hell 51. Our crit potions, we low rolled on. We only have 16 out of 20, so that takes us to 32. So Drake isn't quite at 100% crit, but that is okay. We've got our power potion here, and we've got our crit damage potion all maxed. And we're starting things off with a healer wave which is Michelle, Belrain, Ormus, and Vessa. Good luck, Drake. Let's see if you can go from Hell 50 to death. This will be such an amazing time if he does manage to do this. He is Void 2. He should be able to. Let's see if he's got it. We've got a lot of healing potions here as well. Five Angel potions. Four Demon potions. 31 Milks. It should surely be enough. I mean, he's one-tapping people with his basic attack. Active skill, devastating opponents. Yeah, I got a good feeling about this one. Mickey plus Valentino. Is Drake going to mince this too? Absolutely. Beautiful, buddy. Totally smashing this. Double sleepless. This could be a problem. Then again, Drake is just one tapping them. <laughs> wow, such a strong hero now. Amazing. He's just poking them and they fall over. Sheesh. Good job, Drake. Real good job. All right. Aidens, I think with Unbending Will, we should be fine. Yep, Unbending Will got triggered. And we're just going to Angel Potion our health all the way back up. Nice. So here we go with Gru and Vessa. This should be fine. Instant killing Vessa with his basic and his active wiping up Gru. Super clean. All right, here we go. Four Mirages. This is what the Demon Potions are for. So we can rip these Mirages out of the picture, killing two of them with an active skill, dodging everything. Drake didn't get touched at all. He now has a fully charged active skill, ready for a solo bait at 420. Eight million damage, straight up killing. Nice. Here we go with Hell 60 now. Two Mirages. Pretty sure Drake can deal with this just fine. Basic killing the first one, active killing the second. Oh no, sorry, basic killing the second. Wow, those two basics giving him full energy. Sadly, it's going to get used against two gray eyes. But hey-ho, there you go. Alrighty, what are you selling me now, kid? Nothing of interest. Moving on to a solo Margaret for Hell 62. Easy win. Solo Sigmund. Again, should be easy, stripping away his armor is pretty much removing the only thing that makes Sigmund good. And you are trying to sell me a forest five-star. You know what, guys? Five-star heroes, I'm going to buy them. I'm still going to buy them. Food is good. This account does spend money. We have a lot of gems. I'm actually, I am going to purchase them. And on the topic of purchasing things, let's just pick up everything that's good value. Wishing coins, just, yeah, this whole page. Thank you very much. All right, what else are you going to sell me? Anything good for gold? Arena tickets. That's about it. What else are you selling me? Anything of interest here? Well, I'll buy this. And I'll buy this. And I'll buy this. And if, wow, we're getting a lot of casino chips here. This is very, very nice. Alrighty, cool. Let's carry on. We got ourselves two more gray eyes. Here we go. Nice. Active skill killing both of them straight away. So we've done 15 waves. Drake hasn't struggled in the slightest, guys. I think this could be the easiest run from Hell 50 to death that we've ever done. Someone said last episode, Drake's bad in Aspen Dungeon. That person clearly has never used a Drake in Aspen Dungeon. Doesn't know what he's talking about. Alrighty. Okay, this is a Petrify wave now. Should be fine, though. We have CC removal. Instantly killing the Sleepless. There's the CC removal. Sleepless doesn't even get a chance to hit us, meaning not a lot of marks are going to come our way. Super easy cleanup. Not a problem. All right, health 69 now. we got a Forest wave. We're just going to milk up just a little bit, take his health up, and just send it in. Good luck, Drake. All right, killing that Vesser in one tap. That's all that matters. And with his insanely high crit chance, he is just nuking people. Absolutely nuking them. It is amazing what a glittery Punisher of a mortal can really do for a Drake. 
Not to mention the fact that his crit chance is just naturally high because of that artifact anyway, and based on the fact he's an assassin. So yeah, he's having a good time. That's Solo Sleepless, not even getting a look in edgeways, just trying to attack. Gets killed, comes back up, gets killed. Whoo! Here we go, our first time ever facing Mim. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what's going to happen here. So Drake, just do your thing. That's fine. Good stuff. He managed to win. Nice. So, let's go with Corpse Demon and Ice Blinks now. No point healing him. Because this wave is going to do nothing to us. As you saw there. Here we go now. Hell 74. Double Sigmund. Again, this is going to do nothing. Super clean. Forest wave now. I will heal. We'll use an angel potion. Heal ourselves all the way back up. Let's go. Super clean. So we're halfway through now. We've got a double mirage. Again, you've seen that this is so easy. He just has to attack and then attack. Most of these opponents, he is killing in one shot. That's the fascinating thing about this. He is just going. Absolutely going. Mickey. Dead. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna definitely Demon Potion here. Four Valentinos, very scary. I don't trust this one. But we're fine because of the Demon Potion. Lovely. Four Facelesses. We've got an active skill, which is perfect for this one. Killing the first two. Killing the third. Finishing the second. Very nice. And we have full energy there as well. Going into this next fight, which is a solo Sleepless. That's a shame. But we do get ourselves to 50 energy nonetheless. Now, you might be noticing in these fights, there's a glitch where his energy isn't showing properly. Don't worry about it. It's pretty common. Nice. Hell 83 now. Solo Gurk. Honestly, this run is going super well. I'm... I think literally we just push buttons and watch it happen. I don't think I have to even do much thinking here. Like, just next fight, next fight, next fight, next fight. The only thing I'm scared of is mirages. And we have the demon potions for it. Four Valentinos can be a little bit creepy. But again, we've got the stuff for it. Like, just a single basic attack is just destroying waves. Here we go, double Faith Blade. I'm not even going to heal him, because I'm confident we can kill the first one, and then dodge it, and then kill the second. Easy. Two Mirages, no need to heal. Just one tap, dodge, one tap. Only four hero waves are going to be terrifying. Single Corpse Demon, can we one tap a Corpse Demon? Yes, we can, wow. Removing armor is huge. I will buy those. Thank you very much. We have 10 waves left, guys, until we cross the finish line. This is the easiest run to death I have ever done in my life. I kid you not. This is wild. There you go. Finally, four mirages, but we have an active skill on Drake, which means I'm just going to use milks to heal him up and just watch him kill the first two with the active. Yeah, didn't even have to waste a DP on it. Brilliant. There's the kid. Nice. We've got another active skill. Killing two of the Facelesses. And okay, we took a lot of damage there. But that's fine. We got ways of healing. All is good. We got a solo Mickey here. One tap, one kill. Oh, no, she lived. But she still died to the black hole mark anyway. Hell 95. It's a solo Asmodel. Should be able to one tap him too. Yep. Clean. Another Angel Potion. Just in case we didn't have enough healing. Well, we're going to use some milk twice to heal him up. Send him in against this Abyss Wave now. Just ruining their day, though. Yep. Every time he touches someone, they fall over. Beautiful. 
Solo grew now with an active skill. Should be a clean kill. Yep, 8 million damage. Very nice. Gru plus Vessa. Should one tap Vessa, one tap Gru. Yep. Nice. Hell 99. With an active skill. Should be enough to take down Valentino's. There you have it. And here we go, guys. Just like that, Hell 100, the hardest wave in Hell. It's three sleepless, one mim. We will heal up. We have an active skill, so I'm not going to Demon Potion. We will take these guys down. Mim is dead. Which means the sleepless is coming back and going down, triggering Mim's damage. Doesn't even come into play. And there you go. We've made it to death. Death one. Super easy. Let's now just see what Drake can do. Double Dark Arthondol. Let's take him on. Instant kill. Instant kill. Very nice. Can he get to death 50? That's the question. Double Seer. Nailed it. Bait. Dead. Alright. Sigmund. Defeated. Solo Dark Arthendol. One active skill should do all we need. Yep. 8 million damage. Amon Ra, Ada, Double Asmodel. Well, Demon Potion for this one, folks. Here we go. Clean. Not a problem. That's normally a problem wave. Four Aspens. Well, good thing we have an active skill going into this one, guys. Because we're going to need it. Let's see what happens. Solo Valkyrie. One tap, one kill. Nine million damage. Wow. Okay. Now we've got a problem. Drake needs to kill the Penny. Does Penny have the lowest HP in this wave? I don't know. If Penny does have the lowest HP in this wave, Drake can kill the Penny. And the rest is fine. We have zero energy. You think she does? Okay, okay, okay. Now, can we follow up after that? Ada's gonna hurt us. Uh, one basic, one kill. One basic, one kill. Then an active. They're not gonna get active skills, right? No, they will get active skills, won't they? Because we'll do a basic. That'll kill Penny. Then they'll all do basics. They'll be fully charged on energy. Then we'll have to do another basic. And then we'll have to eat an Aider active. Belrain will heal them if we kill her second. Demon potion. It's a demon potion. Shit. Well, we tried. We tried. We tried. I lost because of the demon potion. Yeah, because it missed on the um the penny. I don't think we was gonna clear that though. I didn't think he was gonna clear it. We know for next time. There was no way we were getting to death 50. I don't think. Ah uh, well. Yeah. As soon as I clicked the button, I was like, crap, it's a random active skill. Because then you can't guarantee you kill Penny. Penny does her basic. Yeah, we shouldn't have used the demon potion. Uh, sheesh. Oh, well, we did our best. If his active would have hit the Penny, we'd have been fine. Anosuke might still make it. That's a really, really funny joke. But let's just see. Yeah, yeah, good joke. <laughs> Actually, four Aiders was next. Yikes. Yeah. Oh, well, guys. There you go. That was fun, though. We have cleared death, and oh my word. What is this? The glorious relic blessings? Sheesh. A oh, hundred bucks is going to get me 150 relics. Universal nine-stop puppet chest. Yeah, let's, let's just press X. Yeah, moving on. 120 million gold! 
Nice. Well, there we go. Where does that put me in the Aspen Dungeon leaderboards? Twelfth. I am twelfth. Nice. Sweet. I think with ticks, Drake and Ticks should be able to do this together. So if we go and build a Ticks sometime soon, that'll be very, very nice. But there you go. Drake certainly impressed. The person who didn't impress was me, using that Demon Potion in Aspen Dungeon. But either way, guys, Drake is certainly proving his worth as a first E5. He absolutely smashed through Seal Land, definitely giving us the vibes that he should be able to clear this once our monster is upgraded. So the thing holding us back is the monster, which is a little bit of a shame. But thanks to all the rewards we managed to get from Aspen Dungeon, we can start to upgrade that monster just a little bit more, which is very, very nice. But folks, there is still plenty more content to come. We've got profit orb openings to do, and we will be doing some more calls next episode as well. So if you want to catch that, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, and thank you so much for tuning in. And if you want to catch it live because you're impatient and you can't wait, join us Wednesday night exactly at reset between Wednesday and Thursday on twitch.tv forward slash mkxjump. Anyway, guys, it's been a good time. It's been very, very fun. And the VIP series is certainly just going to keep getting better and better and better. And we also have a load of relics. So we might even buy that magic stone sword and swap it for another Punisher of Immortal. Anyway, folks, it's been good having you. I'll see you next time. And as always, happy idling.